So now, what are we going to do next? What are we going to do next? The first one says condition. Okay, this condition has to be a true-false field. Do we have any true-false fields with us? Yes, I, we have. We have created them. So, let's start using them. Okay, CFWWTF length of service. You see, I could search for it, and it is available here. Now return value, if condition is true. What happens if this condition is true? Okay. Amateur right, we should return the text amateur. So if I go and click on this, I have not created that field yet. But can I do it from here? Create calculated field. But you see, I cannot type in amateur. I cannot type in the text here. It has to be A. It has to be another field. That is why we have to store the value in a text constant. Write an evaluate expression. That's a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing is it can. It is so diverse, it is so powerful. Bad thing is, for everything you have to create another calculated. That's the bad thing. So here return value of condition is true. Let's click on that and say create calculated field. So we will call it a CF text constant. Right. Amateur. And oh, we have to also put a W? W right. So business object. Now you have two options to store the business of. I mean to use a business object. One is, you can use worker, of course, like the rest of the worker-related objects, or you can use global. Right. Why global? Because, let's say, if we do something else, we may also want to use this text constant amateur. It is not always related to the work. I mean to worker. It can be for something else as well. Right. So we may want to use it there. So I want to use the business object as global. Function is text constant. Okay. And what is the constant text? Amateur. Isn't it simple? Copy. OK. So you see, it automatically comes here. CF, WWTC Amateur. All right. Let's keep adding our four conditions here, one after the other. All right. CF, WWTF. Let's see if we can quickly find those fields. So we have done 0 to 7. Let's use 8 to 15. And again CF WWTF. So we can use 16 to 30. And CF WWTF 31. Right. So then we're done. Now, let me tell you something and let me give you a hint and a tip. Workday will start evaluating from top to bottom. Okay. This is the direction in which it will evaluate. The first matching condition that it finds it will result in that. It will take that as the true condition to stop the calculation there.
The first matching true condition. So to improve performance. What should you do? We should use them. We should try to do the minimum number of calculations. Correct. So first of all, try to identify where you have the maximum population. Where do you have the maximum population? Maybe run this report once. Try to find out where you have the. I mean, just do an eyeball figure and try to find out where you have the maximum population. Maybe it is between 8 and 15. Maybe. Right. So if that is the case, you should have this as the first row. Right. I understand that looking at this is more logical. 0 to 7, 8 to 15, 16, 13, 31. That is more logical. I absolutely understand. But from a performance point of view, this might be more efficient if most of your workers are between 8 to 15 years. Right. Because then it will do this first step for most of the cases that it will be true. Otherwise, what happens? It will first do 0 to 7 calculation. Then it will come to 8 and 15. Correct. So when you design this evaluation especially, keep this in mind. How to improve the performance? Just making this slight change will do you a world of good if you are dealing with large data sets. Okay, so keep this in mind. Always have the first condition as the most common. Condition that you don't have to do the other calculations at all. Right. So we will find out. We will find out, we don't know yet. Maybe for the time being we can do it like this. All right. So let's quickly create the other calculated fields. Instead of amateur. What is it experienced right? Okay, and let's put it as experienced. Okay. All right. So, two fields that are. Let's quickly do the third one, create calculated field very quickly. What is the other condition that we had? Senior and legend. Okay. So instead of amateur, we will call it a senior function. Is this constant? Just bear with me because it takes time. I have to create so many different calculated fields. Senior. And what is the last one? Legend. Create calculated field. All right. So instead of senior, we will call it a legend. This object is global, global. Okay. Function is this constant. And here we are going to use legend. That's it. Right. We are done. You're done. So what is this evaluate expression going to do? It is going to evaluate a series of conditions. Right. It goes from top to bottom. The first matching condition that is met, it marks it as true and it returns the value if the condition is true. In our particular example, what is the return condition type? The return condition is a constant because we are looking at a text type of field. 
isn't it? That's why we did this. All right. So we are, we are done. Let's save this. The save. This field is very complicated field that we have created. We have used eight different calculated fields and we have put them all together in one more calculated field. So nine different calculated fields. Wow. So let's go back to our report and use this calculated field in the report. Here it is. So we go here and we say, custom report edit. Okay. And we scroll down. Just after you. Oh no. Right after this. Okay. Shall we keep this other one, the text, years of service? We no longer need it, right? We have already converted that to a number and we have it. So let's use the new field that we have created. Experience bands from years of service. Let's call it as experience. Bags. Okay, now let's see how our field is performing. Is it? Is it giving us the right result or not? Click OK to run it or run it. OK. Wow. All right. So here we have a bunch of seniors. 22 years of experience. Senior. Is that correct? 22 years senior. Right. 22 is between 16 and 30. Senior. Absolutely right. What else? What else do we have? Okay, let's scroll down a little bit. But just 20 years. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Scroll down. Keep scrolling down. Let's see if we have anything else apart from senior. Contains. Can we say, contains amateur? Let's see if we have a few amateurs. Oh, we don't. We don't have amateurs, all right. Anybody who is a legend. Right, we have a few legends. 122 years of experience. Well, that is a bit silly. I mean, maybe just wrong data. 1900 is not the higher date for people. But anyway, 122 years for a few workers. But anyway, our calculation is working correctly. That's what we are more interested about. Right. 102 years of experience. 1920 and 122. They are all categorized as legit. All right. Okay, any anything else? Any other category that we have created? Experienced. Right. Experienced. Do we have any experienced people? Ah, uh, we have a few. You see, 14 years of experience. It is experienced. What was experience again? Between 8 to 15. Right. So our calculation, is it working? 8 to 15? Looks like it, right. 12 years experienced. Any years experience. 11 years experienced. So our calculation is working absolutely correctly.